The Royal Australian Air Force's elite aerobatic team is in a class of its own in the Singapore skies. The roulettes fly turboprop Pilatus PC-9 aircraft. Regarded as difficult for precision formation flying, the PC-9 needs large trim adjustments to compensate for power and airspeed changes. But the roulettes pull it off about 150 times a year and came up with a special routine just for the Singapore show. Sure, we've got a team of uh, six aircraft, uh, obviously myself as leader. Um, all of us are from the Central Flying School and RAF Base East Sail. Um, we're all flying instructors as a primary job and this is our secondary job which is the roulette display team. Um, we've obviously flown up here from uh, Australia which is a bit of a challenge to get here but uh, we've all enjoyed it and I'm uh, looking forward to uh, doing the display here at Singapore. I kind of go through, uh, we, we've had the chance to see it, of course we've been putting video to this on the, on the, uh, the, the display itself. Can sure. you kind of go through some of the maneuvers that you do and, and how you go about training to, to perform these? Yeah, the certainly. Um, the show that we're doing here, we've uh, tailored especially for this venue. Um, in Australia, obviously regulations are slightly different, uh, which means some of the manoeuvres can cross the crowd, whereas in Singapore, obviously, and in international air shows, they prefer you not to cross the crowd. So uh, we tailored this display to uh, meet those requirements. Um, but all the manoeuvres are, are pretty much the same that we fly throughout our show. So looping manoeuvres, barrel rolls. Um, you probably saw yesterday the synchronised pair split off the formation and do some of their own uh, rolling cross, stall turns and things like that. Um, and then obviously the formation joins up for a, a cascade finish. Now it usually takes a, about sort of 90 odd run throughs of that sort of similar displays to put the team together and we do that um, every six months. So the team rotates through every six months. Um, so we've pretty much got a, a six month season starting uh, January and then sort of July. Um, we have a bit of a downtime, bring in a couple of new members, do a work up and then go on the uh, display season in Australia. Is there a particular challenge in a venue like this over the water uh, versus, say, some of a, an over the land type of... Uh, yeah, certainly when you're um, flying over the water, there's less references on the ground, so a lot of the um, manoeuvring you do is usually reference to a ground-based feature so you can position the aircraft correctly. Um, when you're over water, it does make it a little bit more challenging, but again, we practiced for that before we came here. Um, the area we do our training has um, got a large lake and also a coastline and sea, so we tried to get out as much as we could and, and tailor our show to be similar to here, so when we got here, there's no real surprises. Um, being a propeller aircraft, obviously, we can keep the display a lot closer to the crowd because we don't chew up as much airspace, so um, we try to uh, maximise that advantage by tailoring our show such that 90% of our manoeuvres are always in front of the crowd. And you're able to do perhaps more majestic maneuvers, uh, um, a little on the slower side, you don't have to blast through there? <laughs> no, we're obviously with a slower stall speed, um, uh, our entry speeds aren't as high, but we can obviously, you know, over the top of the loop, for example, our speed's back at around 110 knots, so yeah, we're not going super quick, which means the, the whole display stays quite compact. Squadron leader Derek Singer has 5,500 hours of flying experience, about 1,500 of those on the PC-9. This is his third season with the roulettes and first as roulette leader. For AIN-TV, I'm Ed Hyland.